Hi, my name is Jim. I'm making another travel trailer video. This one is about how to use a multimeter to check your battery levels from inside the the your camper. Um, most campers are. We have a 1999 20 foot Northwood Nash. It has this standard levels test thing. Just basically for your battery useless, it tells you 12 volts, 11 volts, or 10 volts. But if you're using a, any kind of lead acid deep cycle battery, 90% of the bat kind of batteries that people use, you don't want to get anywhere near 11 volts or 10 volts. If this, for, to be at all useful, this would have to be probably 12.75, which is full. A 12 volt battery full is 12.75, 12.5, and then maybe 12.25 because you never really want to go deep cycle, even even deep cycle lead acid batteries. No matter what anybody says, do not have a memory, and you do not want to go under about 12.2 volts, or you'll start to do permanent damage to the battery so the way to avoid doing that is not to use this this thing because you'll get to 10 and you'll be doing you'll be you'll be, you'll be ruining your battery even though you know this levels test just let's take a minute to just say that the rv industry is a total scam did they, they sell you i can't even believe they the, even some some of the newer units are getting maybe a little better about this but what the fuck is this supposed to tell you? I mean, I'm even surprised that, you know, I, I'll empty my gray water and it'll show two-thirds. You know, it's, it's, I know I have more fresh water than that. Um, the, this thing is just basically useless. Oh, God, I got my RV on Craigslist also because I'm just going to say that every RV dealership is, is a, is a freaking scam. They're selling you loans. They're not even selling you RVs. We went to some RV dealerships with cash and said, you know, can you give us? They didn't even want to. They don't. This they don't even want cash because they get more money if they sell you a loan. So if if they put you in a twenty thousand dollar loan with payments, that's usually that's upwards of a two thousand dollar bonus for getting you in that loan for that salesman. The salesman doesn't get you in a loan. They don't get that bonus. They have an incentive to make you make payments. Let's get a bit to the... To the. So now you want a way to get an actual battery level because you don't want your batteries dropping below 12.2. Here's how you can do that from inside a camper. Under here, there's this... If you unscrew this panel, which fairly easily unscrews... Morning. This is a morning video. It's a high. It's cold outside. It's a high desert. We're in the Deschutes National Forest. Near Mount Bachelor, near Hosner Lake. Now, it under, under here, under. It's usually under. It, I've seen it under here often, and sometimes it's called. This is your. This is a converter box. What this basically does, the purpose of this thing is that when you're plugged in, this will convert your 120 volt plugged in power from from where you've plugged in to DC power, so that your DC stuff works. Um, and, um, that's basically the function of this thing. It's called a converter box. It's it's pretty. I'm not going to get into the all, oh, I don't know, well, I'm just not going to, the, the bottom line is that if you can, let me see that camera for one second, there is, there is on this converter box a place for you to stick, you see right here, there's a place for you to stick these probes from the mul multimeter, so I'll turn the multimeter on. And then the setting that I'll put it to is, it's hard to see, and it's there's a million settings here that, um, but I put it on, 
this basically this means volt DC volts and this 20 means increments of like 10 or 20 so I know that um, this is when I put this on it's gonna read probably 12 point something if I'm really low 10 point something so that's the setting you want to pick on this particular multimeter this was like 25 bucks at Harbor Freight it's like Centec Centec model P37772 and I've done a video where I've shown how you can do this on the outside of your camper but it's much nicer this thing for whatever reason so this converter box like I said takes the takes that your AC power from when you plug in to like your home or out of sight and converts and charge not this no and then the, this uh, charges up your battery and also um, converts that AC power into DC power if you're going to use DC power while you're plugged in but the point is that open here when it's open here like this you can then take this multimeter and if it's I I don't know if you can if this is dangerous or not probably they would say un, un, you know unplug everything or whatnot right now I'm just on DC power so I know I'm not going to kill myself if I get electrocuted you probably don't want to be messing around with this if you're on AC so anyway you can take where I showed you those little holes were you can take the prongs put the red one on there and the black one on the white one and I get a reading if you, if you can see that on the I get a reading of 12.3 and we've been camping out here for about two days and using the water pump uh, the heater fan a little bit this morning it was cold um, 12.3 is at least above 12.2 so I know that I'll be it'll, I'll, we're leaving today <laughs> unhitching and leaving but I know I've got enough power I'm not going to damage the battery if I use the water pump a little bit before then the other thing 12.3 tells me is that I did it's a, it's about it went down to like maybe 40 degrees because we're in the high desert about five six thousand feet that affects your battery in an extremely negative way. Um, once you start to drop below 50 degrees, the, your battery um, your battery capacity starts to also drop drastically. So the, probably the reason that's 12.3, not something more like 12.5, is because we're camping in a really cold area. Anyway. I just wanted to show as fairly quickly as I can gosh, how you can mount if it's cold without getting out of your camper just unscrew that panel put these little nodes in and get a volt reading off your battery now a note is that we haven't been plugged in or plugged into the truck um, for about two days and so it's giving us an accurate reading if you have been if you've been recently plugged in or plugged in within the last one or two days that'll you'll get a false high reading because of what's called a surface charge um, that's another like electromechanical thing but basically this is a thing that's going to give you a, an accurate reading of your batteries after you you haven't been plugged in or charging it through your vehicle either for about two days um, another use, another way I use that is, is if I'll, I'll plug in, uh, at home, so I'll plug into the AC and then I'll take a reading from there and I'll see what it's charging at. Usually it charges, it's set to charge at something like 13.8. I bought this thing called the IntelliCharger that I can press a button and boost it to 14.6 that's a pretty handy thing it's a separate thing the IntelliCharger and the IntelliPower converter box if you want to there's videos about that but basically it's an inefficient piece of shit but you need to be able to work with it if you don't 
feel like replacing it off the bat. The other thing that this can tell you is when you hook up your car or truck and turn it on, that your alter the, your your truck's engine through its alternator should be char should be charging your camper while you drive, and you can check you can put the nodes on there while that's happening and and see usually something like 14.3 and then you know that your your trucks throwing the charge in there so it's just a way of seeing um, what, what, what basically how the how the power flow and your if you're plugged in it shows you basically what kind of power flow you're putting into your batteries and if you're not haven't been plugged in for you know, over about over about two days that's not going to have a surface charge anymore it's going to give you an accurate reading of your batteries you know these lead acid batteries are kind of like a balloon and if the that the capacity that that has a capacity of 12.75 and your 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 battery like a balloon will charge and fill, fill up to 12.75 and won't go anymore let's say it will burst but in order, so that, that means that in order to fill up that, in order to put in a charge on a, tw on a battery that has a, a, a full charge of 12.75, you need to charge it at a level higher than 12, but so let's say it's pressurized at 12.75. You need to throw in a charge that's higher than 12.75, so it's got to be like 13.8 or 14, you know. 13.5 or 14 point something is going to put a charge into your battery because it's a higher voltage than 12.75. That's why I think these like these trickle chargers that yeah okay anyway that's the uh, I went on probably too long but you know if this helps you understand your batteries a little bit better there's a lot um, there's a lot better information on the internet this was just a way to show you and your camper how you can take this thing and and get a reading I'm sure I said a bunch of shit that was wrong it's early um, I'm kind of on drugs <laughs> turn it off